I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with game jams. Well, actually, now that I think about it, it's just a hate relationship, really. Because in the past, I've done loads of game jams, mostly the GMTK game jam and the Ludum Dare game jam. But I've never actually submitted a single one, nor have I made a video about any of them. Because honestly, the games that I made for those jams, they, uh, they sucked. They were terrible. And it comes down to the time limit, honestly. Because, like, two days? Really? You expect me to come up with an idea, design a gameplay loop, prototype it, code in all the mechanics, make all the art for it, add the sound effects, add the music, test it, make sure it all works, make an itch.io page, all by myself, in two days. You are having a laugh, alright? Look, I don't know if I just work slow or something, but two days is like impossible, man. I can't make something good in two days. And plus, I haven't got any friends, so I can't team up either. I mean, that's like OP, man. You can't judge my solo game next to a game made by like five people. Come on, it's just not fair. <sighs> As you can probably tell, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of game jams. But that all changed a couple weeks ago when I found this. The Godot Wild Jam. You see, this game jam happens every single month, so if you miss it, well, it doesn't matter, just do it next month. But, now here's the best thing, right? It's nine days long! Yes! I actually have room to breathe with this one! So once I saw this was a thing, and that it pretty much solved all my problems with game jams, I was like, yeah, I gotta do this. So, it rolls around April 12th, and I'm sitting there, I'm ready, I'm ready for the theme, I'm ready to rock and roll, I am on it, alright? The theme gets revealed, and it turns out to be Forge. Interesting, interesting. So the first thing I did was I pulled up a thesaurus, because, you know, I need to come up with a creative interpretation of the theme. And, yeah, my options were pretty limited. Because forge can mean, you know, like a blacksmith forge, forge as in forging a signature, and forge as in forging a head. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got to work with. So while I was thinking up ideas, you know, brainstorming, I was also out here spying on everyone in the Discord, you know, to, to see what everyone's saying, right? And pretty much everyone seemed to be going for one of the first two options. So if I really wanted to stand out, that really only leaves me with the third option. And forging ahead? Well, that's pretty damn broad. I mean, very broad even. So, I can pretty much do whatever I want. As long as it entails progress of any kind, I suppose. However, it is good that I'm free to do, you know, a lot of different things. But it also doesn't really give me much of a place to start. So, what I did was I consulted my little document of ideas. This is where I, I write down ideas for games that I want to make in the future or I can't make now or, you know, stuff like that. And this one idea stuck out to me the most. Making a game that uses your microphone to control it. So I got to work prototyping the game. First I tried speaking into the mic to move forward, but that was kind of lame, I didn't really like that. Then I tried speaking into the mic to jump, but I didn't really like that either because it didn't really feel fun, but also I kind of wanted it to be just your microphone, you know, there's no button pressing required, it's just microphone input. But then, as I was messing around, a miracle happened. I messed up the code. But, but that's not the miracle, alright, that happens all the time. The miracle was this. I had somehow accidentally made a flying thing that uses your voice. And I was like, oh, this is actually pretty interesting, this is pretty good. So I started messing around with it some more, I came up with the idea of you have a hot air balloon that you pilot with your voice. Because, right, listen to this, basically hot air balloons in real life work by going up to different heights, and the different heights have different wind directions that push the air balloons around. And that's how they pilot them, that's how they get them to go where they want to go. So I was thinking, well, if the wind just pushes you around, that means I haven't got to put any other buttons. You just speak into the mic to go up and down, and then the wind 
pushes you wherever you need to go. Genius. This was pretty much perfect. So this was what I went with. So by now, it had been about a day. And while I was designing the level layout, I was thinking of like theming for the game, right? Because, you know, surely I should tie it back to the theme of the forge where, you know, I don't know, we deliver metal to a forge using a hot air balloon or something. But then I thought, you know what? We've already gone from a forge to a fucking hot air balloon. So we're already off script. We've already gone AWOL, right? We're too far gone now. So I was like, you know what? Screw the theme. We're making it about wolves instead. Because, you know, like, they howl and, like, you're howling through the microphone. So it kind of works. Okay, shut up. We're on a time crunch here. We haven't got all day to be brainstorming this shit. So you're going to have to live with it. Anyway, then I went through, I made some basic versions of the levels. Then I added some art to make it look nice. Now, it is pretty simple art because, you know, we're on a time limit. But hey, I, I think it looks pretty good for this little game. It doesn't need to be AAA quality for a game jam. Then after that, I made all the usual stuff, you know, a game over screen, pause menu, main menu, sound effects, all of that boring shite. Now, by the time I added all this stuff, it was getting to the end of the jam. It was within the last couple days, right? And it really started to sink in that uh, this has fuck all to do with a forge. Now, I don't really know what happens if you don't follow the theme well enough. Like, do you get disqualified or does it not matter? Or I don't know, right? So I thought I'd better at least try and make it fit the theme a little better. So what I did was I made this little intro sequence and the intro sequence literally says the word FORGE in capital letters right there. So ha! Game Jam organizers can't disqualify me now. It's literally right there. So what are you going to say now? Exactly. Shut up. Anyway, by this point it was getting very close to the deadline and I hadn't even actually uploaded it to itch.io yet. So I did that real quick, uh, 25 minutes before the deadline. And phew, looks like we made it just in time. But wait, hang on. Hang on, it's not in full screen. I can't even change it anymore, can I? Shite. Well, whatever, what's done is done. Uh, the game's in the description if you wanna play it yourself. And, uh, I'm going to bed. One week later. Alright, the results are in. Let's see how well I did. Drumroll, please. The results are in. And the people, they love it. Number one, baby. Shakonat. All you other game devs just got embarrassed. Humiliated. Annihilated. How'd you like that one, huh? How'd you like that? Get out of my game jam. Uh, wait, hang on, wait. Hold on, there's like some smudge on my screen. Let me just wipe that off real quick again. Oh, I am... Um, I, I lost. Well, at least I came 10th. That's, that's pretty good. Oh, wait, that's... That's only the one category. <sighs> Damn it! I really thought I did something there, man. Looks like I'm still just some chump. Some bottom of the barrel game dev. <sighs> you know what? Next time, next time I'm gonna win, alright? Mark my words. Because I know, I know what I did wrong, alright? And I know exactly how to fix it. Next time, I'm gonna make sure that I bribe the organizers. With enough money to actually win this time.